Hello friends, fans and enemies and welcome to another Zane Destiny video and if you're wondering why I'm sounding like this well it's because I've just gone through a whole BT10 unboxing and realised I didn't even press record. So everything's opened up and after I'm done I realise oh dear. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to end up doing I'm just going to have a quick chat about the pre-release that I attended yesterday and today. I did end up winning yesterday's pre-release but unfortunately I came in sixth today which is a bit of a bummer. So, if you are attending a pre-release, or have yet to, I would suggest, well, it's all based on luck really, you get given six packs and whatever you pull you use. Uh, we'll also point there's a new rule from what we've seen, uh, so not everyone's lucky enough to be able to pull any digi eggs. So if you run out of digi eggs, it means you can't use the raising area anymore. Well, there is a rule now that you can actually place a level three onto the raising area, onto an empty spot, you don't get the draw for Digivolution, but at least your mod is protected in a way. So there is that option. But if you do attend a pre-release, might I say the god combo of Cherrymon and Canandramon is absolutely nutty insane. So let's start off with Cherrymon. Obviously he gets the green digits option, so suspend a Digimon to reduce the cost by 2. So you could suspend a level 4 that you're Digivolving him in on top of to make it cost 1. But the best part is opponent's turn. When an opponent's Digimon attacks, you may switch the target of the attack to one of your suspended Digimon. Why is that good? Well, if say for example the opponent's attacking security, you can direct it to Cherrymon. Or get to the other guy, Cannondramon. So this guy's a level 6 blocker, but he's a repeat blocker. So when Digivolving, you can unsuspend a Digimon. So you could unsuspend, but also opponent's turn once per turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, unsuspend this Digimon. So, what does this all mean? So, you did the Digisorption with Cherrymon, you probably attacked from a level 5 and then you did evolve into Calendramon, which unsuspend him. It's your opponent's turn. Your opponent attacks with, say, for example, or uh, something that's less than 12,000. You suspend Canandramon to block it. It deletes the opponent's Digimon, and because it's deleted, Canandramon effect kicks in to unsuspend itself. Oh look, you can block with him again. Happy days? Okay, but no worries, your opponent has a third attacker. Your opponent's going to attack your security. Oh no, Cherrymon. I'm going to redirect the attack into Canandramon again to basically delete your three bodies. That's what I did yesterday, but unfortunately today I didn't pull only pulled one cherry mod in today's pre-release and didn't pull any Canandramon, but it was like a god combo. It was hilariously insane. But might I also add that Griffinmon, who's just a 13k beat stick, he got me out of quite a few binds, especially against Canandramon. Um, my opponent's Canandramon hit it in security, so good old Griffinmon. But also might I suggest Achilles Mon if you're able to. So what he's able to do is when digivolving, if you got less than uh, two or less security, you get to recover one. Always good. And when attacking, if you have three or more security, you can minus 5,000 DP on opponent's Digimon. Or if you've got three or less, you gain two memory. Well, that's great for Pulsemon players. But I also found it was nice just to have that memory, uh, memory gain. So what I'd end up doing is normally I'm scared of attacking security with an 11k. But I found it was worth it just to get the extra two memory. And most of the time I would survive security because, well, the good thing about pre-release formats is you're kind of safe when you hit security unless you got some sort of removal or like an 11k, 12k, 13k body in security, which doesn't normally happen all that much. Uh, obviously you've got your other removal cards like eight cost options, which are either bounce or return to hand or just straight up delete. You've also got other ones which does a little bit of um, minus one security. Uh, there is a few Digimon like uh, Harplane Tinkermon which just gives straight up minus one security to your opponent. So that's always good. Pre-release, this format has been open, fun and probably the most exciting. And if you do have a place that does have a pre-release, please attend it because it's always fun. And it's great for new players and it's always good. So I recorded the video already. Well, I'm not recording a video. I've opened the packs already. So, yeah, I'm just going to show off 
what I've pulled. I'll probably just organise some things as well. I don't know. Uh, so in one of the packs I pulled earlier, I did get the Beelzemon. I've got some blue flare stuff. Another Achilles Mon, so that's always good. Uh, I did get some Shoutmon stuff. Now I'm not interested in building Crossheart. I'm not interested in learning about Crossheart because I think it's too complicated for my brain. But well, we'll see. Uh, I did pull a few of these XBs actually, so that's good. Dark Knight Mon, I'm not interested in that. Shoutmon X4. Uh, some Gammon stuff. Uh, Thesismon. Uh, Sismon Seal. Another Thesismon. Another Polymon. That's nice. Uh, Decker Greymon. Gaussmon. Dark Knightmon. Sparrowmon. You. Blazing Memory Boost. I think I've got pulled a playset of these from the box. Uh, can of Vicemon. Metal Greymon. Feels so weird seeing Greymon in blue. Yeah, some more blazings. Eisen. I don't know why there's commons in here. I probably just mixed up some things. Tinkermon. And oh yeah, this is one I traded for, I think, the Sanzo Mon. Looks kinda cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these to one side. Um Alright, I'm gonna show you some of the big hitters I got from the box today. Uh, I'm gonna show that one last. So I did get this is probably like the third Mako mode I've pulled now. I did pull one yesterday in pre-release. I pulled another one today in pre-release. And this came from the box today. I did trade one away. It seemed to be making up because I never pulled any Sequoiamon from EX2. Apart, well, apart from one from three boxes. But it seems like well, odds are in my favour this time. I doubt I'll play Sequoiamon, but still. Uh, Thessismon. Didn't even realise it comes as an old art, But it's a pretty nice looking old art. So even though I don't play blue... I think I might just keep this one because it looks really cool. It gives me like a cutesy Cthulhu sort of vibe, which is strange and scary. Uh, I did pull Omnimon X Antibody, regular art, but it's nice to have. It's nice, nice and to have. <laughs> I did get a Venus Mon, so I did trade for a Venus Mon today, so now I've got two of her now. And kudos to Bandai, um, not giving her short shorts. Although I do kind of want the old art because it looks it looks nice. <laughs> this is my third Jessmon X antibody I've pulled. Um, I did trade one away for a Minerva Mon. Unfortunately I didn't get any Minerva Mon in this box. I've only got one at the moment, so I do need more. And oh, I've got a Shoutmon X5 in here. And I pulled not one of the Gankamon X antibodies. But I pulled two, and this one's the alternate art, so he looks like a right Chad in here. Look at him. Look at that look at that smile. He knows. He knows. It's like, look at that bulge and muscles. <laughs> so he will be good with like the Jessmon deck, I believe. So got two of him. I think what I should really show off is my Oh yeah, so this is the other Venus Mon that I traded for, and that's Minerva Mon. I do kind of want the alt art for Minerva Mon as well, actually, because it does look really nice. And this is probably like the the top top thing I pulled today, actually, because um, not that one. That's just another Jess Mon. But I'm surprised about this card because I didn't realize what it was. That's just another Sequoia Mon. Um, but yeah, I was surprised I pulled it, didn't realise it was a thing, and didn't realise it was a crazy price, so I ended up pulling the Altar Beelzebon from this set. Oh, please focus. Don't do this to me. There we go. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. From what I understand, I think it's a European exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, but look at the bottom corner. That's meant to say, I don't know if you can actually see that. Well, it's an uncommon. It's an uncommon. And I just looked at eBay prices and it was like 50 quid. I'm like, are you insane? But then I look at it again, I'm like, yeah, it's Beelzebub. Of course, it's going to be that much. And of course, I do have the regular art as well. So I'm happy about that. That's been my best pull so far. I just reminds me of the time when I opened up that first uh, starter deck, the yellow starter deck in the booster pack inside. It was an old art Beelzebub, the BT2 version. 
never going to get over that. That's still amazing to me. And this is probably just feels just as well. I still need the altar of the EX2 Beelzebons and Blast Mode. So I do want that. Uh, but yeah, that was... <laughs> That was like my failed box opening. Oh, and I should probably me mention I got these with the um, participation. Um, I got one for participating in the pre-release and one for winning it yesterday. I did have a third one, but I traded it away for a something that I can't remember what I traded for. But yeah, uh, but I will say like this artwork is adorable. I mean, it's like a mother Greymon with its baby Agamons. And it's like, stay away from my babies. You, you don't touch my babies. I do like it. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that, that I messed up the recording that badly. But BT10 has left me pretty excited. EX2 was kind of like a sour taste of my mouth. You know, probably because I didn't really pull what I wanted. Uh, but this has been interesting. The pre-release has been really interesting and opened. Um, the god combo of Cherrymon and Canandramon is just funny and insane. But I'd say what I've pulled from packs in the pre-release and in the video I got today has been pretty decent. But like I said, I do want more Minerva Mon. I'm happy with my Bielsa Mons. Maybe need one more Venus Mon. Um, and I think I'm pretty much set, really. Uh, so I want to get the altar of Bielsa Mons, obviously, because I just need it. <laughs> And I want the old art of Minerva Mon, but I would like more Minerva Mon to actually use and play with. Crossheart I'm not too interested in because it just seems like a convoluted mechanic. I don't know, I just feel like it's a bit too much. I know people are going to play it for the first few weeks and it's probably going to be like tier 1 or tier 0 or whatever people call it. I just, all I can say to that is just run Psych Mon and Solo Mon just to stop um play cost reductions or something but yeah that's that's been my box or at least the box but we're not going to end there are we no of course not because we well that was my box topper chris so just so you know there is an errata of a card involving him because it says ada christopher well they use the japanese name and so it's a kiwi hat. so what i should mention is for the pre-release tournament uh you do get to of the EX2 War Greymon Alt Arts as prizes. So that's nice. But I also got some of these. So I got that for winning yesterday, as well as this one, as well as that one. And these are the three that one I got with buying the pre release box, and the other two were participation. So we're going to open some more packs. Actually, record some packs and not make a mistake this time. I can't believe I totally forgot to press record. Oh well. Uh, what am I actually hoping from this then? So it looks like you got a chance to get oh, Sirenmon. I wouldn't mind a Sirenmon actually. Gardramon, uh, XVmon or Stingmon. I think I would like a Sirenmon because I don't think I have that yet. Plus Sirenmon is just, it's, it's cool. Sirenmon's cool. So, oh, it's an XVmon. He does look pretty good actually. Also spend one of your level four low Digimon. So he has a use. He has uses. Okay, it's a tamer pack. So who do I I think the only tamer packs I don't have is the red one, I believe. So a red one would be nice. Okay. Oh, oh, so it'd be the Sora version. So not the good kind of red one. But that Bergamon. Oh, that's pretty decent actually. Even though she does need braces. And that Garuda mod as well. Oh, decent. Okay, so this one. Uh, special entry pack. So two cards per pack. So do you, are you guaranteed the two cards? Or is it random what you could get? Oh, so there's a chance of a Agamon, uh, starter deck, Agamon, Greymon, or Gaia Force. Uh, oh, it's all red. Yeah, it's all red. So War Greymon, BT1. Oh, War Greymon would be nice, or a tie, but that's asking a bit much. So what do I, what do I get? What do I get? I got Gammon, nice, and I got Skull Greymon. Cool. Delete one of your opponent's blocker. Oh, those, that artwork's pretty cool, actually. And delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP2000. To be honest, nice. Okay, let's open up the pre-release pack. So. 
pre-release packs, I believe it goes uncommon and below, I think. So there's no chance of getting like a super rare with a pre-release stand. But I believe this Bielzemon, yes, is uncommon. So it's possible to get a Bielzemon either as an alt art or with a pre-release stamp, which is pretty insane. I mean, you can't have an alt art with a pre-release stamp. I did question that actually earlier today, and someone said, no, you won't get the alt art as a pre-release stamp. God, that would be, that'd be insane. So, okay, what do we get? We've got a Shoutmon pre-release stamp. I'm not even sure that's a good pull or not. I didn't see many people pull him, so yep. Yeah. And got a Shoutmon X4 pre-release. Okay. Uh, second back, got Breaklaw as well as Zinjiro, and then finally got a, a Jartmon as well as a Sismon Seal. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. That potentially, no, it's not the highest rarity because I think it's an old art for it as well. So that's everything. Um, <laughs> failed box opening attempt, I know, but I'm happy with my pulls. Just need more Minerva Mon. Ideally, so I can do some loopy shenanigans. But yeah, that's it. I may do another video on the upcoming starter decks coming out next week. I'm really looking forward to those. Can't wait. Can't wait. BT10 has, has left me excited. So, yeah, that's all good. But thanks for joining me, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again some point. But then I do question about me seeing you, because I don't see you. You only see me. And I'm just rambling now, aren't I? I'm just going to finish the video of my beautiful Beelzebub. Look, look at that beauty. Look at that blurry beauty. It's like, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we go. There we go. Look at that. Look how much of a boss he is. It's all blurry now. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Bye.